So for the push-ups, we're just gonna start off by going on the floor. We're gonna stack our wrists, elbows, and shoulders all in one straight line. After this, we're gonna grip the floor and we're gonna squeeze, like have grapes, we're gonna squeeze to create stable shoulders. Now we're gonna extend, high plank position, make sure we're not coming in or two out here. We're gonna get right in the middle, squeezing our core and hip. Then we're gonna come straight down. If this is a little too challenging, we can just drop on our knees, right? Keep the same formation, same principles apply. So for the single legged water bottle row, we're gonna start off by breaking at the hips, slight bent in our knees, and slowly shift to one side so we can start balancing. Here's a side view. Break, slight bend in our knees, start balancing, okay? Then we're gonna start rowing. Whichever arm is on the levitating leg, that's the one you should be rowing with. Nice proud chest, elbow tucked in. If this is too difficult, we can just have both feet. Remember, break, slight bend on the knees, just pull back. Nice and tough. All right, so our first exercise is gonna be a squat to cap raise. For this one, we wanna make sure we have our feet hip width apart. We wanna make sure we have a slight bending in the knees. We're gonna go down, kinda of like we're sitting into a chair. So we're gonna to try to mimic this. So we're pushing our butt back. And we're gonna come up onto our toes, since it is a cap raise. So from the side, it's gonna look like this. And make sure we keep our chest nice and high. To make it a little easier, quarter squat without the calf raise. To make it harder, you can go even lower. We're gonna do three sets of 10. All right, so our next exercise is gonna be a started stance RDL. So it's a Romanian deadlift. The only difference is our feet are gonna be hip width apart, slight bending in the knees. But when we take it off to the side, one of them is gonna be a little bit behind. We're gonna make sure that we hinge at our hips so it's like we're closing a door behind us, or in this case, we're gonna to touch the back of this chair. We're gonna slide our hand till it goes a little bit past our knee, bring it back. We're gonna make sure that our gaze is straight forward, fixed on the position. Our back is straight and our chest is aligned, just like that. To make it a little bit harder, you could actually lift your leg up, making sure you're doing like a tabletop, pinching at the hips, kind of like that. To make it a little bit easier, just open your legs hip width apart and hinging at the hips. So no staggered stance. The next exercise is called a forward lunge. So we want to make sure we have our feet hip width apart, slightly bending in the knees. We want to bring one leg forward. So when it's here, we want to make sure that we hit a 90-90 as we go down. Our glutes are going to be nice and tucked. Our core is going to be engaged, chest up, no wrinkles on the shirt, gaze looking forward, and we're going to come back up back to a starting position, other leg, just like this, hitting 90-90. Our knee doesn't pass our toe. We wanna to make sure that we just keep our core tight, bring it back in, just like that. We wanna make sure from this angle, our knee doesn't go in, bring it back in, just like that. So we're gonna do three sets of 10. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna do cross body drives. And we're gonna start off by stacking our wrist, elbow, and shoulders. And we're gonna grip the floor. A nice high plank. Then we're gonna bring our knee towards our opposite elbow. Make sure while we're doing this, our hips aren't moving everywhere. Nice and straight, belt buckle up. Here's a side view. If this is too difficult, we can just go straight. Instead of crossing. Now we're gonna do some plank shoulder taps. So high plank position again. So we're gonna grip the floor, wrists under our 
elbows and shoulders. We're gonna pretend we have grapes, squeeze. So high plank position, and then we're just gonna tap our shoulders. Okay, when we do this, let's make sure we don't start moving all around. Our hips should stay locked in one position. This is too difficult, we can just hold the high plank for 30 to 45 seconds. Here's a side view. For the single arm, single leg, overhead press, we're going to start off by balancing on one foot, bringing your foot nice and high, side view, okay? And then with our opposite hand, whichever leg is up, with our opposite, we're just going to press straight up. And then we'll switch. If this is too difficult, we can just lower it and hover over the floor and still press up. We're going to do a door hinge row. So we're going to find a doorway and we're going to step pretty close to it. Before we start the exercise, our feet are actually going to be close together, close to the door. And then our hips are going to be stable. So we're going to bring that belt buckle up so we remain straight. We're going to have a nice and proud chest. So spread that logo, right? And our elbows are going to be locked in as if we're squeezing grapes from our armpits. So let's come close. And our hands are going to be around our chest. We'll slowly start going back. Then pull ourselves towards our hands. Go back, pull ourselves towards our hands. We can't do this. We can do it with water bottles. We're just gonna break the hips. Nice and proud chest, squeezing those grapes. And pull back, just a regular row. Here's a side view. So for the next workout, similar to the squat, we're doing monster walks. Monster walks is we're gonna hold this position, which is the squat, and we're just gonna make sure that our knees don't go inward. Our, hit, our feet are placed hip width apart. We're going down like we're sitting into that chair, and then we're gonna out, in, out, in, out. You're gonna feel it in your quads. For this one, make sure your chest is nice and high. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, sink in lower. Try not to arch your back too much to make it a little bit easier, quarter squat. So the next workout we're going to do is called the single leg glute bridge. We're actually going to do this one on the ground. So we're going to lie down onto our back. We want to make sure that our feet are nice and tucked in. And we're going to engage the glutes as we bring our pelvis up. We want to make sure that most of the weight lands onto our shoulder, not our neck making sure the core is engaged. We're gonna make sure we lift one leg up, bring it up, try to make a straight line or as straight as possible and then lower it. If this is too hard, you can just do both legs just like that, making sure our gaze is nice and front. So we're gonna do this for three sets of 10. Okay, so for the next workout, we're gonna do step up. So we're gonna use Anything that's stable that we can actually walk on top of that we're not gonna fall because safety first We're gonna make sure that we put one leg up Bring it up. We're gonna raise our knees kind of keep like a 90 90 can't really see because of the bush So I'll show you here bring it up up to like our hip. So we're gonna go up just like that Put our hip back down then the other leg. So we're gonna switch off. We're gonna alternate and then other leg Making sure that our chest is nice and high and our view is straight ahead or onto the surface just in case if you need to be a little bit more cautious. If you can't do this because you don't have a step up or anything else disposable, you can just do high knee tucks. Alright, so our next exercise we're going to do a side plank with T rotation. So we're going to get on floor. Start off by placing your elbow right below your shoulder. Now bring that hip in, remember belt buckle up, and we're gonna bring it to the sky, shoot to the sky. Nice and straight. Now we're gonna come inward and then make a T. 
make a T. This is too difficult. Let's drop down to our knees. So just bring them back. Same thing, elbow below shoulder. Shoot those hips up, belt buckle. Just rotate in and out. All right, so for plank walkouts, I'm gonna show you a side view. We're gonna stand and we're gonna break at the hips as if we're looking over a cliff, right? Over a cliff. We're just gonna come, go as low as you can, touch the floor and go into high plank. Then come back up. We can slightly bend our knees. Don't keep them locked up. Just you can slightly bend them if you want to get onto the floor. Remember, belt buckle in. Let's not come all the way down here up there. Just come. 